Sitting here on this lonely dock Watch the rain play on the ocean top All the things I feel I need to say I've known Michael for quite a long time now. Um, we first met at UCLA. Do you remember which class? Yeah, so we, we, were, we took Chinese. We're, we're both Chinese. We decided to take beginner Chinese class thinking we are going to get easy A's. I got an A. Disgrace. May your rings always remind you that it was love that brought you together, that has kept you together through all of these years, and it is love that will continue to keep you together through all the seasons of your life. been repeated many times, but Karen and Michael have been together for 12 years, and all those years have been long distance, and this is very, very impressive. I've seen over the years how much love these two have for each other, and have no doubt they will have a lasting marriage. For Michael, he used to call me a soap. That means uncle. <laughs> he treat me like a friend. Well, and, uh, he look after the maintenance of my auto, as uh, we heard earlier this this afternoon. Yeah. So, and uh, he always concerned my health and diet, and uh, always asked me to do that and don't eat that. So, no wonder he becomes a doctor. <laughs> the way I do. Love, it's a special day. We should celebrate and appreciate. Last but not least, I wish you both treasure each and every moment of your life. Loved each other forever. Congratulations. I know some say this day is arbitrary. But it's a good Michael, please repeat after me. Karen, I give you this ring. Karen, I give you this ring. Please wear it with love and joy. Please wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. Karen, please repeat it after me. Michael, I give you this ring. Michael, I give you this ring. Please wear it with love and joy. Please wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. This day and forevermore. This day
forward to all the adventures ahead of us the food you're going to learn how to make for me the lifetime warranty of free car and home maintenance work and being your life partner to tackle whatever life may bring us i am so lucky to be your wife and i love you for the rest of my life for the rest of your I vow to encourage your innate positivity, optimism, and compassion because that is what makes you unique and amazing as an individual. I vow with every breath I have to continue making you laugh and smile to the day I die. I vow to learn how to cook, not just microwave cooking. I vow to always appreciate how lucky I am to have someone who makes me feel the way you do. And lastly, I vow to never forget this moment. These are my sacred vows to you. Michael and Karen, now that you have shared with each other these words of love and commitment, and we have witnessed the expression of your love as you have given each other these rings, and you have joined your hands and hearts before your family and friends, it is with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss the bride. Family and friends, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zhao. Stuck in the clouds, she begs me to come down. Says, Boy, quit fooling around. I told her now, Michael sometimes jokes that Karen's a little slow on catching certain things, that's why he calls her his dum dum. Now, on the other hand, Michael's nickname, Tum Tum, you don't have a six pack. <laughs> nah. Tum Tum. So, where am I going with this? It's that their nicknames are based on a small aspect of each other's flaws or shortcomings, but yet they have turned it into a term of endearment and have embraced each other for the true beauty that's inside. However, I do have a few tips for Michael to ensure this will happen. Number one, remember Karen is a princess. Allow Karen to have her yoga time because you know what people say, happy wife means happy life. <laughs> Number two, in getting married, you will have many new titles and responsibilities bestow upon you. Some of these may include housekeeping, cooking, etc. However, one of the most important roles will be to take over Karen's dad's role of starting her car in the morning before work so she's not late to work. And finally, make sure you choose your future work location closer to home so you don't have to be long distance anymore. Karen and Michael, I wish you many years of love and happiness. Let's raise our glass to the happy couple. Cheers! Tears will subside All your tears will dry still 
will be humming along and I will keep you in my mind the way you make love so fine we may only have tonight but till the morning sun you're mine all oh, my play the music low and sway to the We're very grateful because of this one main thing. Whether you established your relationship with us when we were a baby, in high school, in college, UC Berkeley with Karen, or at Cal Poly with me, or that one year I was at UCLA, bromance, uh, or in pharmacy school, or in medical school, or at work, or maybe we just met randomly on the street and we just hit it off. But regardless, we truly mean this when we say this, that our relationship with you in one way or another shaped the person that we are today. Thank you. 